Hello, this is Rohan Paul. Very welcome to my machine learning and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. Today it will be a very quick video on getting the historical prices uh, of cryptocurrencies uh, like BTC, uh, Ethereum, etc. And the, the data mainly will be OHLC data that is open, high, low, close, and also volume. And the package I will be using is uh, this one called uh, Historic Crypto. This is their GitHub uh, GitHub. Uh, page and the main developer of this package is David Oro Niak and they have a very quick documentation you can uh, so uh, under the hood this package actually hits a coinbase pro api and then it uh, downloads all the data and for me i downloaded uh, the bitcoin data all the way back from 2015 up to today that is uh, uh, 31st october of 2021 it took like something like um, 2 hours in collab but I did not get any rate limit uh, limitation, so I could download in the entire data right from 2015 up to 2021 October. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is uh, install this package. So run pip install historic crypto, uh, and I'm inside my Google Colab. I'm running this uh, running this um, uh, cell inside my Google Colab. So let's run this cell, and that. Uh, will install historic crypto but for me i have already installed uh, uh, historic crypto earlier so that's why i'm getting requirement already satisfied and then uh, you need to import for the historical data so this package provides uh, uh, three modules mainly historic data cryptocurrencies it is for um, uh, it is for some ticker names etc and also live crypto data so for this video, I'm just going to use these historic data because I need the historic data of my cryptocurrency. So import this module and then, so now with that import, I'm ready to run the code and get the data. So first I want to define a variable, which will hold all the downloaded data. And then I have to invoke this function historical data and uh, Historical data takes a ticker, granularity, start date, and end date as its, as its um, argument. And you can quickly check their uh, documentation here. It's very well explained. So uh, here the ticker is the, sub you have to supply the ticker. Uh, and that would be the corresponding uh, cryptocurrency that you want to download the data for. For example, if you are downloading Ethereum uh, USD data, the ticker is ETH USD. But in, for my case, I want Bitcoin USD data, so it will be BTC USD. And the granularity is a number of seconds uh, uh, in a day of uh, trading. So that takes a few particular values. Uh, that is 60 seconds, 300 seconds, 900 seconds, all the way up to 86,400 seconds. And this last value is actually the total number of seconds in a day. That is 24 multiplied by 60 and multiplied by 60 another time. And the start date and the end date both are strings in this particular format. That is YY, MM, DD, HH, MM. Uh, all right. So I think I am ready to uh, supply those. So BTC USD granularity, I want 60. And uh, for this video, for the start date, uh, I will provide. Uh, uh, 29th of October and I just just want to download two days of data for uh, for now 29th is a start date and 30th is the end date and uh, uh, and then I have to invoke a function called retrieve retrieve data retrieve data yes and now I think I'm ready to run I have the I have the uh, ticker of the cryptocurrency granularity start date ended. Okay, let's run this cell. Awesome, it started extracting the data and it will get the data in chunk uh, because I have just two days of data. It should get executed pretty fast. Yes, so it's done already. Now quickly check uh, what this data is. So this BTC historical, that's actually a Pandas, uh, Pandas data frame. So I can use head and tail on this to check out their data beautiful so um, this is the first five rows of these btc historicals and that has a starting date uh, that is the 29th of october and uh, this is a various timestamp of the of these day uh, 
so i have got low high open close and volume data of btc also check uh, there uh, the last five rows that is to check that if i have the ending date data as well btc historicals dot tail so i'm using pandas tail function to check out the last five rows awesome uh, so i have the ending date here that is 30th october and the time stamps uh, of uh, various timestamp that this um, API uh, was hit, the, the various timestamp of uh, uh, these prices, these actual prices. So quickly check the shape of these data so you can uh, understand that uh, and the number of rows that was uh, imported, that was uh, received, BTC dot shape. yeah so for just for two days i got 1500 rows of data and five columns of course the five columns are low high open close volume uh, ohlc data and the timestamps so i got total 1500 timestamps of data that's really uh, a very good number of data for two days so i ran the same code for uh, uh, for the entire historical period uh, available uh, for this package that is this package under the hood is um, hitting the coinbase pro api and I got data from the 2015 all the way back from 2015 up to today. That is 20, that is 30th October 2021. And in collab, uh, it got something like two and a half hours to download this entire period of data. All right. So that pretty much wraps up this video. And again, I will be uploading videos pretty frequently uh, in the subject of data science and deep learning. So if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. And if you like this video, smash the like button. See you in the next video.